Good morning. Friends on Facebook and Instagram, happy Wednesday. It's time for chair yoga. Let's see who's here. Hi, Mom. <laughs> cool. So, as usual, grab your chair and make sure that we are sitting a little forward on it, feet nice and flat on the ground. And let's just let our hands rest on our knees and close our eyes. Take a nice big long inhale. A nice long exhale. Let your awareness settle down to your breath. Let your breath go a little longer and then a little deeper. Take a moment and just feel your feet on the floor. Feel your seat in the chair. And feel the crown of your head reaching up towards the sky. And go ahead, set an intention, whatever you'd like to focus on this morning. Whatever that is today, hold it in the space of your heart. And take a few more nice long breaths. Arches up towards the sky and then exhale round your back back towards the back of your chair. Time it a few times. Inhale, arch you look up. Exhale round and back. A couple more times. Inhaling and exhaling. <clears throat> Just moving back and forth. to the sky and then see if you can interlace your fingers behind your head. Keeping the elbows out wide, just lean it over to the right. And then switch and lean it over to the left. We'll go back and forth a few times. Inhale and exhale. So inhale to the center. Exhale as you lean. Back and forth a few more times. So the challenge is, you lift the leg up with your hands behind your thigh, can you take your finger to your toe, and see if you can straighten the leg that way. And then we'll try the other side. So lifting up the left, finger to the toe, straighten the leg, and lower down. All right, one more challenge with this, with this leg lifting pose. So this time, lift the right leg up. See if you can grab your big toe with your finger, straighten the leg, and then take the right arm back and turn and look to the right. We're doing our twist. Take a couple breaths. And then we'll let that go. Lower that down. Try the other side. We're lifting up the left leg. Grabbing our toe with our right hand. Straighten out the leg. 
And then maybe we take the left arm back, look to the left. Double breaths. And then we will go ahead and lower that down. All right. So let's stand up. I'm actually going to turn my chair backwards today. Um, you can turn your chair however you want. But we are going to be twisting a little bit more today. So we started with that little twist. We're going to be twisting a little bit more. We're not going to twist right away, but I'm going to keep the chair this way. So that when we get to the twisting, I don't have to change it. So I want us to try a lunge with our chair. So coming over to the left side of your chair, your right leg's gonna stay on the chair. And then your left leg's gonna come back. And we wanna get the back toes tucked so that we're in a lunge, but we're on the chair. So the chair is supporting us. The back toes are tucked, the back heel is lifted, and we can reach both arms up. If it doesn't feel good to reach the arms up, you can keep the hands on the chair, keep the other hand on the chair, and we're lifting the arms up. So instead of just sitting solid on the chair, fire up the back leg, let it be really strong, press through that front foot, and feel as if you can almost lift up off of the chair. So you're not putting all your weight down, you're giving yourself some lift. Hug the low ribs in, take a couple breaths. And then bring that arms down and then spin around the other way. So now you should be facing what was originally our right, uh, but your left leg's gonna stay on the chair and the right leg's gonna go back. So same thing, you slide yourself back so that the back leg can be off of the chair and we've got the heel lifted, the ball of the foot on the ground and then we can reach both arms up. So the low ribs are hugging in, Take in a couple breaths, press strong through your feet. Let your legs be strong and you can almost lift yourself up off of the chair. You can play with that if you want to. Take a couple more breaths. And then we'll go ahead and lower that down. All right, in between our lunges, let's have a downward dog. So, always moving my chair around so you guys can see, but you don't have to move it. Downward dog, we'll take our hands to the chair and then walk our feet back. We're trying to get a nice straight line from our hands to our hips and then from our hips to our heels. Take a couple breaths. If you want, you can wrap your fingers around the side of the chair. Think about turning the insides of your elbows up towards the sky. Take a couple breaths. So trying our lunge again, we'll have our right leg next to the back of the chair, the left leg's going to go back. So the leg that is the closest to the back of the chair is the one that we were going to keep. Because that'll make a big difference when we do our twist in a minute. But first, finding our lunge again, just like we did before, back leg really strong, front leg really strong. Like I said, feel like you can almost lift yourself up off of the chair, take a big inhale, and then this time we're going to bow forward as we exhale. And then inhale, we'll lift up. And exhale, bow forward. One more like that. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bow forward. And then inhale, lift up. Arms can come down. And we'll spin ourselves around the other way. So now, left leg forward, right leg back. Finding your lunge. Hips are square. Back heel lifted. Arms reaching up. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bow forward. One more inhale, lifting up. And exhale, bow forward. And then we'll lift up and the arms can come down. All right, let's stand up again and try our downward dog. This time we're gonna add on. So hands to the chair, fingers can wrap around the outside if your chair works like that. Walk your feet back, downward facing dog. Each up just a little bit. Downward facing dog. This time, let's try a three-legged dog. So from here, reach your right foot back behind you and see if you can get a really long line from your hands to your heel. Hips staying square. Take a big breath. 
Slow that one down. Try the other side. Reaching the left leg back. Try to get a nice long line. Bring your hands to your heel. Take a big breath. And then we'll lower that one down. And walk it all the way back in. All right. So back to our lunge one more time. As promised, we're going to get to this twist. So, facing towards the left, right leg stays on the chair. The left leg goes back, finding your lunge. This time, big inhale arms to the sky. Keeping the legs as they are, nice and strong. See if you can turn towards the back of your chair and see if your hands can find your chair. So we're finding a lunge twist. Keep strong through both feet, strong through both legs. Again, feel like you can almost lift up off of your chair and then use that back of the chair to find the twist. Take another big breath. And then we'll let that go, reach the arms all the way back up. And then the arms can come down. And we'll turn the other way. So left leg in front this time, right leg back. Both legs really strong. Feel nice and buoyant on your chair. Arms reaching up. And then from there, turning towards your chair. See if you can grab the back of the chair, finding a twist. Reach up through the crown of your head, take a couple breaths. And then reach the arms all the way back up. And the arms can come down. All right. So, come in and sit normal in our chair. Hopefully our lunge twist was a little different today, something to try. Um, but let's do our normal hip stretch. So crossing the right ankle over the left knee. Flex that lifted foot. Sit up nice and tall. If you get a big stretch, stay right here. If you want more stretch, lean forward, leading with your heart. So notice I'm not dropping my head down, keeping the spine long. Take a couple breaths. To the other side, crossing the left ankle over the right knee, flexing that foot, sit up nice and tall. If you want to stay here, stay here. If you want more stretch, lean forward, leading with your heart. Take a couple breaths. Uncross that leg, give everything a wiggle. Let's cross our legs a different way. So this time, crossing the leg over. If you can, you can wrap the foot around the back of the calf. If that doesn't work, that's okay. Just crossing at the knees, both arms forward, right arm over the left, crossing at the elbows. Two options, you can hug your shoulders or you can wrap your hands around for our seated eagle pose. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulders, get that stretch across the backs of the shoulder blades. And if you want even more, you can drop the chin to the chest. Take a couple breaths. Then we'll unwind up, unwind the legs, give them a wiggle. We'll try the other side, crossing the left leg over. Maybe the foot wraps, maybe it doesn't. Both arms forward, left over the right, crossing the elbows. Maybe hugging the shoulders, maybe wrapping the hands around. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulders, take a few breaths. If you want, you can drop your chin to your chest. And then we can go ahead, unwind that, unwind the legs, give them a wiggle. Let the feet be about hip distance apart, big inhale, arms to the sky. Let's have a forward fold, reaching out over your legs. Let your head drop down, take a few breaths. And then go ahead, walk it all the way back up. And let's give ourselves a few hugs. Inhale, arms up to the side. Exhale, hug it across the chest. Inhale, out, opposite arm, arms high. 
Three hundred double hug. Let's try a couple more. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. And exhale in. Last two. Inhale out. Exhale in. And last one. Inhale out. And exhale in. And then hands can rest on your knees. Eyes can close. And just like we did at the beginning, let's connect with our breath. Following our inhale in. Following our exhale out. Again, feel your feet on the floor. Feel your seat in the chair. Feel the crown of your head reach up towards the sky. Maybe notice if you feel different than you felt at the beginning. And let's bring our hands to touch at our hearts. Whatever your intention was this morning, take your mind back to it for a moment without any judgment, of course. Check in with yourself and how it went. And then most importantly, take a moment and honor the light that exists within you and thank yourself for coming to yoga this morning. I thank you all for being here with me as well. And I honor the light within you and within all beings. Namaste. All right. Thanks to everybody who's here. Yay.